continues. I'm joined by two consultants from O'Neill and Associates. Tom O'Neill, O'Neill and Associates, Democrat, served as Lieutenant Governor of Massachusetts under Ed King and Mike Dukakis. Tom Tremarco served as a Cabinet Secretary to Republican Governor Mitt Romney. And you're still talking. I love that kind oh, of thing, by the way. That's the kind of bipartisanship we love here. <laughs> and with Tom O'Neill, we talked last time about how you got to be an Obama kind of guy. Give us the quick version. What got you there? Uh, I'd been with Joe Biden, an old friend of mine, and uh, after he withdrew from the race, realizing he was not going to win, uh, you know, I kind of paid attention to my two children. I have a daughter who, on her own nickel, has gone out to any number of states now campaigning for Barack Obama because she just loves his, his vitality and his, his message of, of hope and, and the vision that he carries. And my son, this is really transformational, to be honest with you. I and mean, he's a guy, even though he's an O'Neill, could care less about politics until Barack Obama. And again, the, the campaign the campaign vision and, and message of hope translated to him as well, and it, it got him off his backside and into the campaign, working and voting. Now, here's a guy who worked for Mitt Romney. While you're talking the whole time, this guy, you're right, his head is shaking up and down affirmatively, meaning that this is the kind of thing you're seeing. Meaning you my children are a similar example. They, working for whom? They're very actively involved with uh, Barack Obama. You did work for Mitt Romney, of the I, right guy, I, is that correct? Oh, uh, well, I did. Who is the, who is the, so who are you with? I, uh... Thank you very much. Are you uh, with Barack Obama? I, uh, I have, uh, sent a contribution to Barack Obama once Mitt Romney, uh, ended his candidacy. As my mouth is open as we speak, which Democrat, uh, return your Republican hat for a second yes. if you can, even though yes. it may be a drop compromise yes. here. Which is the Democrat who Republicans fear most? The conventional wisdom is it's Obama. If it is, why? And if not, why not? I think it is Obama. And I think it's because they recognize the change issue is a real issue. It's, and he's, he's captured that issue. He stands for it. Obviously, McCain is going to be the Republican nominee. Uh, he's a great American hero, uh, but he is establishment. He's been there a long time. And I, I, I really think also that Hillary has, uh, would be a return, Clinton, Bush, Clinton, Bush. And I think that would be a, a factor. Tom O'Neill, before you answer that thing, you know, the, the, the conventional wisdom, one of the arguments beyond lack of experience that comes from Hillary Clinton about Barack Obama is he hasn't been tested. He's really never had a race, state senate, United States Senate, that sort of thing. The first time I've ever seen the press be tough with him, I think after they were embarrassed by the Saturday Night Live skit and other things, was at a San Antonio press conference yesterday. Barack Obama, it appeared to me, was in retreat for what he called all eight questions, at the end of which he says, I've answered like eight questions. Were you concerned that he may not be ready for that kind of prime time? Now, I, I honestly believe that Barack Obama kind of floated through the weekend because he had been mushrooming. He had been climbing in the polls. And I think he just wanted to kind of carry it through to, to, to today. Uh, I think it was a mistake for Barack, to be very honest with you. And I wish now, and I think now, he realizes that he should have come out and kind of pushed back a little bit, as he had been during the campaign. If you'll notice, every step of the campaign, every time he'd been criticized by Hillary, by Bill, or anybody else, any surrogate for the Clinton campaign, he came out immediately and pushed back. He didn't do it this weekend. I wish he had. Yeah, let's get back to the Republican side, your, your more traditional hat, if we can for a second. Has John McCain used well this time, where essentially he knew he was the, not just the presumptive nominee, the de facto nominee. He had that exchange about Al Qaeda from the last debate, yes. about if Al Qaeda was in Iraq, said yes. Barack Obama. He says, well, I got news for you, they're in Iraq. Yes. Obama came back. But essentially it seems to me that he's failed to consolidate the Republican ranks in this, this month or so that he's been alone. Am I right there? Well, I think his experience is he knows he has a very tenuous relationship with the right wing of the party. And I think uh, he has to figure out a way to consolidate that, that base. Does it help and when he gets an endorsement from a guy, a televangelist from San Antonio, no, that the that evangel evangelicals love, but who considers Catholicism a cult, an apostate religion? Does of that course it doesn't. Of course it does. But he hasn't renounced But that. what will help uh, John McCain will be a Hillary candidacy because that will consolidate 
the Republican base like no other issue. You're a master of the segue and you don't even know it. Here's a question <laughs> historians will have to ponder. How did Comedy Central's Daily Show become a mandatory stop on the presidential campaign trail? Last night it was Hillary Clinton's turn. Tomorrow is perhaps one of the most important days of your life. And yet you have chosen to spend the night before talking to me. <laughs> Senator, as a host, I'm delighted. As a citizen, frightened. Your response? I, I, it, is, it is pretty pathetic. <laughs> uh, I love the response. Now, y I have done some consulting. You have, I mean, plenty. When Hillary Clinton is relaxed and not guarded, she is really, I mean, she's always impressive in terms of brain power and policy. Why don't the people who are making 10 million bucks, like Mark Penn, no, that's the Hillary people want to see. Spontaneous, real, warm, funny. Where's the disconnect? Hillary Clinton has been packaged from the get-go here. She's always on message, never gets off message, and because of it, the real Hillary Clinton has not come through, and I think it's now too late in this campaign for her to kind of rekindle you know, a successful campaign effort. We'll know better tonight, but I don't think so. We will know better tonight. More results and more March 4th primary and caucus analysis coming up.